make the balls from the top of the post. You're going to need some moulds. <clears throat> they come in different sizes. Well, depending on how thick the mould that you post that you want will determine what size ball you would like to use. So that's the t a large one. Then you've got a small one. That comes like that. I'm actually going to be using the medium size one. This is just a Christmas bauble that I got. You purchase them like this. You've got a wee cap on it so you can hang them on your Christmas tree. So what I've done with this one is I've filed out the centerpiece here so that our bolt can go through there. So what you're going to need is you're going to get some oil. You can use any kind of oil. I just use the old spent oil from the kitchen. Some masking tape. Your bolt. This is a 100 millimeter bolt. And your cement. Now I like to use my and the cement in a little bit of a liquid form. It takes a little bit longer to dry, but it's easier to work with. You're also going to want something to balance your ball in while you're working with it. Right, once it's all wiped down, now what you're going to do is you're going to take your bolt. I've worked out how deep I want my bolt to go through. I have a four millimeter, a 40 millimeter pipe and then it goes through the T because I need my railing to be balanced so it doesn't flip. So I've measured it like that, put the bolt where I want it and now we're going to put the cap together. So it should just snap together like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your masking tape or whatever tape you're going to use and just seal it. So and now we're ready to fill it. Before you start filling Make sure you rotate the ball a little bit so you don't get pools of oil in one place. Right. Just make sure your ball is balanced so it doesn't roll over. So now we just take your funnel every now and then give it a tap so you can remove all the bubbles. Once it's full, just put it aside to dry. Every now and then, just check on your balls. Because as you see, what happens is the liquid sort of like comes to the top. So what you want to do now is you keep tapping them to get all the air out. And this liquid will start coming to the top. So all you have to do is just pour it out and you'll see it's quite clear. So that's the water that's coming out. Just top it up and let the water all come off it. Keep tapping it to get rid of the bubbles. You can also suck some of the water up with the tissue, just putting it on the top. Just make sure you don't leave any of the tissue behind. Top it up again until it's completely full. It doesn't matter if it overflows a little bit because the water's going to be coming out, so you've got to just keep an eye on that all the time. So now our mold has been drying for 24 hours, it's time to open it. I've removed the tape already, but what you have to do is now just screw that up just a little bit higher so that it doesn't get caught when you're trying to undo it. Now, if 
I've put enough oil inside it and we pry it open it should come off quite easily there you go one piece now the next piece there's not a lot of leverage on that one so it took a little bit more difficult to get off fabulous now there you have it you take a wee bit of sandpaper and you just clean up a little bit of the edges and that where it's left a bit of a mark as it's come out. Our ball with the screw in it which will get going on top of our posts. Next we'll do is paint it. So our cement balls have been drying there for a week. It's advisable that you let your balls dry for a week before you paint them otherwise the paint tends to peel off now I find when I'm painting gold it's always better to paint it in a dark color so I've used a gray I normally use black but this one is dark enough so you can see so now we've got um, some gold satin spray paint and all we're going to do is just paint the ball. A few light coats. As you can see, it covers really, really nicely when you've got it on a dark surface. Somehow it doesn't cover very well if it's on light. I don't know why. And there we have... Yeah, boy. 